Hi everybody, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, I'm Katie and for today's video I'm going to try and follow Molly Mae's everyday makeup routine, our updated version, and I hope you enjoy it and we'll see how it turns So the first thing Molly goes in with is our face base, so kind of primer thing. So for primer I'm going to use the Revolution Hydrate and Prime Primer, this wee one here. And it's all pure leap out in there. I don't know how much your lip in the tube. I need to order more because there's not loads left. And I'm just gonna put that everywhere. So I already washed my face and put my moisturizer on beforehand. I just used the simple light hydrating moisturizer. I'm gonna move over. I'm not even in the center. There we go. Now I can't see myself in my mirror, so. Yep. So I put my primer on just to hydrate my face. And then let's see what we go to next. So next Molly mixes two of her foundations to make a perfect colour. So I'm going to go in with the number 7 Instant Radiance Foundation. I don't even know where it tells you the shade on this. I don't think it does. Probably did on the lid and I don't have the lid for it anymore, so it's this wee one. And then I'm going to mix it with the Bourjois Healthy Mix in... I don't know the shade this is either. I think this is like the vanilla. The light vanilla. So I'm going to mix these two together. Couple of points of each. Because I have tan on and I don't like to tan my face. Because somebody told me when you tan your face, it comes out and makes you like loads of blackheads because it really gets into your pores. So, kind of put me off in my face. And just using like an earbud to mix them. And then I'm just gonna dab it where I want to put my foundation. And hopefully, this matches. My skin colour quite well. I used to mix these when I had more of a natural tan. I don't tan that well, I go quite red instead and then pray that it turns to tan later on but it never does. The good thing about the moisture, the simple moisturizer is that it has SPF in it. I don't know, I think it's 10 or 15 so it's something. And anyway, we're in Scotland so it's not like you're getting too much of the sun, but lately it's been really nice, of course it's been nice and we can't go anywhere. And then I bet you, first time we're allowed to go out and go to clubs and pubs, it'll be pouring down and we won't get to go to any beer gardens whatsoever. So, Molly, oh, oh, Molly's going in with a beauty blender, but I'm going to have to use a brush because I left my plug and diffuser sitting over where everything, where all my makeup sits, and then it'll leak and my beauty blender absorbed it. And I did order another one, and it's not came. It was sunny earlier, and now it's not sunny. It's really sad. I was enjoying some, like it's still a lot lighter on this side. Probably should have put a little light on. Probably should have done that. So next we are going in with concealer. We're going to get that. So I am going to use the Revolution Conceal and Define Concealer in the shade C3. It's probably going to be a wee bit light because I use this when I've not got tan as well. But we'll hope for the best and see how it goes. Probably not going to go well, I'm not going to lie. No, no, it's gonna go off, so I'm gonna just copy where she puts it. So this is kind of weird, can you see this? I don't think you can see this. Mm. I hope you can. I don't know what you can see because it's quite a long outside. You can see this side. 
The outside is amazing, but you know, it's sunny. What, what can I do? Can't complain about the sun. But she's gone back in with our beer blender, but I don't have one as of yet. So I'm just gonna go back in with the brush and blend this in. So next we are going in with powder. I love this one. It is the Revolution Matte Base Powder in Toe. Yeah, most of the stuff I use is Revolution because I think it's great quality and it's really reasonable. But yeah. So I don't have my sponge to kind of pack it on like in the same way. So I'm going to use this wee brush and hope that it does something. And yeah, wee minute. There it's there. So I should kind of just packing it on around the eyes oh go, it probably does go on oh, that was right in my eye ow, that hurt a lot Down her packing that on I'm kind of just, she's going everywhere she put her concealer on the chin as well I mean I think I should just leave it out So she just takes this stuff off her forehead straight away. Oh no. Okay. Mm -hmm. And move this stuff off her chin. And then I think we move to brows. Okay. It's okay. I don't even know how this looks on the camera. Can you even see? I don't think you can see. That's fine. Right, so we're leaving the eyes kind of powdered and out and then I think we're moving to brows, we're moving to brows more So she's not properly thrown as how she does her brows, she just goes with that so yeah, I'm going to attempt to do my brows And here, up here, make sure it's all gone. We're going in with a brown in the case. We're going in with a light brown, and she's just blending this out over her crease. So, yeah, we're just going to do the same. And now we're going with the kind of peachy colour. Do I have a peachy colour? I'm going. Yeah, we're going to go in with this wee one here. Right, this is a matte thing. Mm. And we're just blending that out as well. We're doing contour now. Okay, the contour we go. So I'm gonna go in with my Revolution Contour and Glow thing. And we're gonna use my brushes. The two. Shit, right, where are we going? How should you grind our cheekbones? And we're 
chunk it up to the forehead. Blush blush. So I'm gonna go in with the Rita Baker blush palette. I'm gonna use the lighter one of the two. We're just going above the contour. I don't see it. We go for the dark one. Let's go for the darker one. Probably the moon's on there. <laughs> Yeah, I can see when it hits a light. Oh, lovely. What we doing now? Scara time. <coughs> so, it's mascara time. For mascara, I'm going to use the Rimmel London Scandalous Reload Mascara. I just always use this one. Love it. Under eye mascara, I'm using the Last Sensation by Maybelline. I'm gonna end up smudging this as well. Ooh. And then she's gonna on our waterline with a kind of blacky thing. The black from Max Factor on the water. I want my waterline like this. And so I used to do it all the time. I used to like it be quite cool to do your waterline but we'll see how it turns out. That is the under eyes done. I feel like when you do it, you get like do it one to them blank because then it kind of takes everything off and you do it again and it stays. So what's next? So we're going with a pink. I actually have a pink liner. Which I can find it. There we go. So this one's from Topshop. Topshop. I'm not really blunt. I don't know if I should put that out there. Lipstick, okay. I don't think I've used this one. So I'm gonna go with the MIX Smacking Fun Lips in that we should, and I didn't actually mean to pull the bottom off it. Oopsie. I'm gonna put that on. It's quite a bright pink, actually. I mean, it's springtime. Yeah, you can wear pinks in the spring. Can you? Yeah. Can't wear them in spring and summer. When can you wear your pinks? My mind just cracked. So that is the routine. I don't know. I don't know. As well, it's hard to get a good look at these eyebrows. They are shambles. <laughs> Absolute. Shambles, that's fine. That's just done. Probably would have been better to win with a lighter pink. I might try that. I don't know how to make a wipe. Uh, it's just from Primark. It's got this Asia Go the Vel Velvet Matte Lipstick Cayenne. And 
blush. I love this. I love it. I just don't wear it all the time. Oh, that's gonna happen for me. Because I sharpened it really bad. Looks better with this kind of pink on. Yeah. Definitely looks a lot better with a lighter pink than that other pink that I had on. And I'm just going to put some scents there over it. So I'm just using the Revolution up one. That didn't even get my face. And it's the Pro Fix Amazing Makeup Spray. Oh yeah. So this is the look created by following Molly Mee's everyday makeup routine so yeah I'm gonna go not that I'm reaching but you know it's all good so if you did enjoy this video I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a thumbs up comment down below what you think and I'd really love if you subscribe thanks for watching and I'll see you next time